in the last session we started our discussion related to data jpa so can you tell me what is data jpa and why we are going for data jpa data jpa is one approach to develop persistence layer in our applications already we have several concepts to develop persistence layer but data jpa is simplifying persistence layer development by providing repository interfaces what are the repository interfaces available one is crud repository second one is jpa repository crud repository providing methods to perform crud operations in the crud repository we have the methods to perform crud crud operations then when we already have the methods to perform the crud operations why we need to go for jpa repository more functionality what is the more functionality that we are getting sorting we are getting pagination we are getting and query by example also we are getting so to perform db operations we need to create one interface that interface should extend the properties from either crud repository or jpa repository so we created our first application now to develop a project by using data jpa we need to add data jpa starter and a database driver lombok we have added here in order to develop the project first we need to add the jpa starter jpa starter i have added in the pom.xml starter data jpa then mysql connector then lombok dependency available after that i have added database properties by using application dot properties file what are the data source properties we are adding what are which database we want to communicate what is the username what is the password url driver class so these are called as data source properties when we start our application data jpa will take the data source properties from application dot properties file and it is going to create a connection pool to communicate with the database connection pool is required that connection pool will be created by data don't allow them stop stop them right so here we are going to create the data source properties now what is the purpose of these data source properties these data source properties are used to create the database connection as a programmer we are creating the database connection or our data jpa will create the database connection data jpa will create the database connection is it creating a physical connection or it is creating a connection pool it is creating the connection pool now if you don't write these properties if you don't write these properties then connection pool cannot be created you no need to write the logic to create the connection pool whenever you add jpa starter in the pom.xml it will check for data source properties in the application dot properties file it will load these properties it will create the connection and it will create the connection pool also and whenever you have repository interface by extending from crud repository or jpa repository then jpa will provide implementation for that interface in the runtime by using proxy class so internally proxy class will be used क्या भाई क्या हुआ वेट करो लेट आया ना थोड़ा वेट करो मॉर्निंग क्या बोला था मैं पांच बजे पहले आना बोला ना क्यों ना आया है ओनली वन मिनट हाउ मेनी पीपल आर देयर कम टुडे फर्स्ट टाइम फ्रॉम टुमारो दिस विल नॉट बी अलाउड ठीक है, राइट सो नाउ हियर वी आर हैविंग बुक रिपोजिटरी बुक रिपोजिटरी एक्सटेंडिंग द प्रॉपर्टीज फ्रॉम क्रेड रिपोजिटरी वाई माई बुक रिपोजिटरी एक्सटेंडिंग द प्रॉपर्टीज फ्रॉम क्रेड रिपोजिटरी वाई आई नीड टू एक्सटेंड दिस क्रेड रिपोजिटरी फ्रॉम टुमारो फ्रॉम टुमारो शार्प नाइन थर्टी गेट विल क्लोज शार्प फाइव फाइव ओ क्लॉक गेट विल क्लोज यू हैव टू कम फाइव मिनिट बिफोर द क्लास स्टार्ट नॉट वन मिनिट नॉट टू मिनिट before 5 minutes you have to be here 925 is your cut off time 455 is your cut off time you need to be on time you need to be on time 
Why you people are not there in the lab? After going for lunch, why you did not come back to the lab? I have that attendance. Who went for lunch, who did not come back for the lab? Why? What we discussed yesterday? 11.30 to 4.30 is your lab timing, right? 5 o'clock is the class. Why you people did not come back to the lab? Huh? Now, some people are there. Some people are not there. I have that list. They gave me the report. Who are in the lab? Who are not there in the lab? Last and final warning. From tomorrow, I don't want to see the late comings. I don't want to see your absence in the lab. I'm very serious for the next two to three months of time. So I want you to become a good programmer. Simple man, if you come to the lab, am I going to get any benefit? To be frank, it is a loss for me. You will use power, you will use fan, you will use something else. Right? That is loss for me or benefit for me. Then why I am forcing you to come for the lab? You will get some knowledge. If you face some problem, you will talk to your friends and you will get the clarification for that problem. You can do the practice. You will learn the programming part. If you do the practice, I am not going to get any benefit. That is benefit for you only. You understand that. Okay. Right. Now here, I am creating a repository. My repository extending the properties from CRUD repository. CRUD repository is a predefined interface that is available in the data JPA. When our interface extending the properties from the CRUD repository, data JPA will identify our interface as a special interface and data JPA will provide implementation for our interface in the runtime. Now, you no need to write any logic. You just get the object of your interface and call the methods. Now, see here, what are the methods that are available in the CRUD repository? There are several methods available. Let me explain the methods one by one. CRUD repository methods. We know that CRUD repository is a predefined interface in the data JPA. It is used to simplify CRUD operations in our application. First, there is a method called save method which will take entity object as a parameter. What is the method? Save method. What is the parameter for the save method? Entity object. Now here, save method is used to insert and update. So there is a single method in the data JPA which is used to perform both save operation as well as update operation. Save method is used for insertion insertion plus update also. Any method which is used for insertion plus update that is called upsert method. Update plus insert. You don't have separate method to update the record in the database. We have a method called save method. Save method can be used for inserting as well as updating. Sir, how it will insert the record? How it will update the record? What is the logic available for that? Now you see here, I am having a logic to insert the record. Now, I am having a logic to insert the record. I am creating one entity object. I am creating entity object. I am giving 102. I am giving this as microservices, book name. Price I am giving as 2000. Set to book ID 102. Book ID is our primary key. Book name, microservices, price 2000. I am calling save method. What parameter I am passing for the save method? Book object. What is the book object? Book is a entity. So what is the parameter for save method? Entity object. Now in the database, check our table, check our table, how many records are available in the table? There is only one record available in the table. What is the ID? What is the ID of the table? With record 101. Now, I am trying to execute save method. I am trying to execute my save method. Run this application. Run as boot application. When I execute boot application, one query executed, Two queries are executed. Two queries are executed. 
first it is executing select query then it is executing insert query why it is executing select query first it is checking with the given primary key value record is already available or not with the given primary key 102 is there any record available in the table record not available in the table that's why it executed insert query now suppose for example i will change the price from 2000 to 3000 i'm just changing the price from 2000 to 3000 what is the id 102 with the 102 record is already available or record is not available record is already available now observe run as boot application now check the queries huh. what is the first query select query what is the second query update query earlier it executed select query and insert query now it is executing select query and update query can i say save method is a upset method what is the meaning of upset it can perform insertion as well as update any method which is responsible for both the insertion plus updation then that method is called as upset method it is a polymorphic method save method is called as a polymorphic method so one method two behaviors one method two behavior whenever we give entity object with a primary key first it will execute a select query is there any record available in the table with the book id with the given book id if record is available it will update the record if the record is not available it will insert the record clear now let me go for 103 here i am giving the book name as angular price i am keeping as 1500 something like this book id is 103 book name is angular price is 1500 save book object now with 103 record is available or record is not available not available now tell me what this data jpa will do save method will do first it will check for a record with the 103 it is not available then it is going to insert that record now run this program run as boot application check this a selecting it is doing the first select operation with the primary key where book id is equal to given value then it is inserting the book record because with 103 record not available now here i am changing from 1500 to 2500 in the database check that angular record is available with the price as 1500 now i am setting the id name is angular only price i am giving as 2500 in the database what is the price available 1500 in the entity what is the price available 2500 103 idea available record is already present one column value modified so it will perform insert operation or update operation update run as boot application now check it select query is executed update query is executed go to database check this price is updated to 2500 now tell me what is the purpose of save method available in the crud repository huh. In the project, you no need to write the logic to insert the record and update the record. You just need to call the save method. With the given primary key, if record is already available, update that. With the given primary key, if record not available, insert that record. Are you clear? Now, save method is available to insert or to update single record. Insert plus update, it is called upsert. It can perform update it can perform insert next one there is a another method called save all method it will take iterable as a parameter save all method is available iterable iterable is the super interface for the collection interface right if you want to insert multiple records at a time i have three book objects i want to insert three books as a collection so if you want to insert a single record, then you can go for save method. If you want to insert collection of records, then you can go for save all method. So here also to insert and update collection of records. I have a collection, that collection records I want to insert at a time. 
then I can go for save all method. Now here, let me take it as B1, B1, B1. Now I don't call the save method. Like this, I will create one more record called B2, B2, right? B1, B2, B3, like this you can create multiple record. Now let me keep it as React.js and let me keep it as some Vue.js. With 103 record already available, I'm going for 104 and 105. Got it. Its price is 3500. This price is 4500. Something like this. So book 1 is representing React.js. Book 2 is representing Vue.js. Check our database. Now up to 103 records are available. Now I want to insert 104 and 105. Simply I will call repository dot save all. Repository dot save all. So now what it is expecting? Entities it is expecting. So I have B1 and B2. So now B1 and B2 I want to represent as a collection. Can I go like this? Arrays dot as list. Array slot as list b1 comma p2. What is the purpose of arrays dot as list? It will convert the given objects into a list object. You convert into list object. That list I am passing as a parameter to save all. Right. Now I am calling arrays dot as list of b1 comma b2. What this will do is it will represent b1 b2 objects as a collection right that collection we are passing as a parameter to save all in general people what they will do is list of book list of book books list is equal to new array list books list new array list now i need to write books list dot add of b1 and i need to write books list dot add of B2. Books list dot add up B1. Books list dot add up B2. Now what I can do? I can pass that books list here. So I'm creating array list object. For the array list object I'm calling, I'm adding B1 object and B2 object. For the save all method what I am passing? Books list I am passing. Instead of writing these three lines of code, what I can do simply? Simply what I can do guys? I can write arrays dot as list of b1 comma b2. The, whatever these three lines of code is doing, same thing will be done by arrays dot as list method. Now I am calling save all method by passing collection as a parameter. In the collection, how many records available? How many records available in the collection? There are two records available in the collection. Now 104, 105. With that ID is, do we have any data in the table? No. Then it will perform update operation or insert operation. Insert for two records. Now tell me, total, how many queries will execute? How many queries will execute a total? Four queries will execute. First query, to check the presence of the record with the 104, not available, then insert that. For 105, check the presence of the record, not available, then insert. So now it is going to execute four queries. Run the program. Run as boot application. Two select queries and two insert queries are executing. Go to database. Right. Now can you see 104, 105 records are inserted? Yes. Tell me. When to go for save method? When to go for save all method? If you want to insert or update a single record, then we can go for save method. If you want to insert or update a collection of records, then we need to go for save all method. Clear? Now, third one. There is a method called exist by ID. What is that method? Exist by ID. This is used to, to check presence of the record. To check presence of the record. If the record is available, it will return true. If the record is not available, it will return false value. Exist by ID. What is the meaning of exist by ID? To check presence of the record. Guys, I am deleting this code. I hope 
you can write this setters and getters okay right yep now i'm deleting repository is available i want to check a presence of the record with the 105 is there any record available in the table or not i want to check that i will go for repo dot exist by id 105 what is the return type of this method it is going to return boolean that means it will represent true or false value boolean true or false value true means record exists false means record not exists right true or false value record status record presence record presence perfect i'm calling exists by id Will it retrieve the record or it will only check record is available or not? It will only tell you record is available or not. If the record is available, it will give true. If record is not available, it will give false value. Run as boot application. It is executing select, select query count star. That means with the given ID, with the given ID, Record is available or not, it is checking that. Book ID is equal to given value. Select count star. That means record is available. True. For example, if I give 205. Now, run as boot application. False. That means record is not available. So, what is the purpose of this method? This method is used to check presence of the record and returns true or false value. If the record is present, then true. Otherwise, it will return false value. Next one. There is a method called count method. There is a method called count method. So, to get, to get records count in the table. To get records count in table. How many records available in the table? I want that number. 100 records available or 200 records available. How many records are present in the table? I want to get that count. To get that count, there is a method called count method. System.out.println repository.count. Repository.count records count. Directly I am calling. Records count. Repo.count. Right click, run as boot application. So total. There are five records available in the table. You can check the table. Select a star from books. There are five records available in the table. So now count method we understood and exist by ID also we understood. Now I want to retrieve the record. To retrieve the record, there is a method called find by ID. There is a method called find by ID. And there is another method called Find all by ID. It will take iterable IDs. Iterable IDs. And there is a method called find all method is also available. So to retrieve the record, there are total three methods available. One is called find by ID. Second one is find all by ID. Third one is find all. Find by ID with a Single primary key, I want to retrieve the record. I have my book ID. Based on the book ID, get the record. To get to retrieve, to retrieve record based on given primary key. Based on the given primary key, to retrieve the record, we can go for a method called find by ID. For example, I want to retrieve the record based on multiple primary keys. I want to retrieve 101 record, 103 record, 105 record. If you want to retrieve by using single primary key, then you will go for find by ID. If you want to retrieve based on multiple primary keys, then you will go for find all by ID. I want to retrieve all the records from the table. Find all method. Find all method is equal to select star from table. When I execute select star from table, it will retrieve all the records available in the table. Now, retrieve record based on multiple primary keys. Retrieve records based on 
given p keys if you give multiple primary keys it will retrieve multiple record if you give one primary key one record i want to retrieve all the records select star from table what is the meaning of select star from table to retrieve all records from table select star from table name now let's go here let me execute that book repository is available for that in the run time proxy class will be created now let me call repository dot find by id i'm giving some one or two what is the return type of this optional object optional is a class in the java 1.8 i'm getting the optional class why because if optional class is not available if they directly give the entity object if the record is not available with the given value you will get the null pointer exception to avoid the null pointer exception they are returning the object in the form of optional object it is like a container now if you want to get that record if find by id dot is present in the java 8 i explained this here if find by id dot is present if the record is available then only i want to get that record find by id dot get find by id dot get here i am calling find by id method what is the purpose of find by id it is used to retrieve the record based on the given primary key it is used to retrieve the record based on the given primary key it is giving the record in the form of optional in the up with the id record may available may not available with the one or two record may present record may not present if the record is present then only i want to get that object find by id dot is present if the record is present then i want to get that record and i want to print that record now right click run as boot application now can you see here with that given one or two record is available or record is not available record is available i'm able to get that record suppose i want to get the record based on multiple primary keys then which method i need to go for which method i need to go for find out listen whatever the methods we are discussing now same methods applicable for jpa repository also if we go for jpa repository same methods will be available whatever crud repository is providing same thing is providing by jpa and some extra methods also available right now find all by id find by id what is the parameter single primary key if i go for find all by id iterable ids what is the meaning of iterable ids collection of primary keys right now let me remove this let me remove this repo dot find all by id can i go like this arrays dot as list of 101 comma 103 comma 105 what is the meaning of arrays dot as list it is going to convert the given values into one list object that list object we are passing as a parameter to find all by id what is the return type of this method what is the return type iterable object now we can write a for each loop book b find all by id now let me print system dot out dot print ln of b how many records it will retrieve now three records because i am giving the three primary keys as a collection if you see here find all by id as list of three values i am giving it will give me iterable object i am iterating that collection three records will come those three records will be printed save this run as boot application 101 so what is the difference between this method and this method if you want to retrieve a record based on the given primary key then you will go for find by id if you want to retrieve the records based on given primary keys then you will go for find all by id now i want to retrieve all the records from the table 
I want to retrieve all the records from the table. Then what I will do? Repository dot find all. Find all. Iterable. Okay. Now again for each loop. Book B colon find all. Now here I can write system dot out dot print ln of book. There are five records available in the table. Those five records I will print on the console. Now you can see here all the records it is retrieving. Select a star from table. There are five records available. It is retrieving all the five records and it is printing. Are you guys clear with this? How many methods are there to retrieve the records from the table? If you see in the JDBC, we need to execute the query. We need to get the result set. We need to move the cursor. We need to take the data from the result set. We need to set to Java object. We need to close the connection. But here, how many lines of code I'm, I'm writing to get the data? Only one line of code. Am I writing my query here? I'm calling predefined method. Who provided that predefined method? Data JPA provided predefined method. When we execute this find all method, it is executing select query. It is retrieving the records in the form of a result set. It is moving the cursor of the result set, taking each row from the result set, setting to our entity object, adding the entity object to the collection, finally returning the collection. All that logic executed internally by data JPA. Whatever we have done in the JDBC, that logic is automated now. That is the benefit of going for frameworks. Now, am I writing common logic or I am not writing the common logic? I am not writing any common logic for everybody retrieving the records, updating the records, deleting the records. That is common. That common logic is providing by data JPA. Are you clear? Fine. So, with this we understood seven methods. What is the first one? Save. What is the second one? Save all. What is the third one? Boolean exists by ID. What is the fourth one? Count. Next one. Find by ID. Next one. Find all by ID. Next one. Find all. Now here, next one, there is a method called delete by ID. What is the method? Delete by ID. And the next one, there is a method called delete all by ID. Delete all by ID. And there is a method called delete method with the entity object. We can delete a record by passing entity object also. And there is a another method called delete by passing iterable of entities. And there is a method called delete all method is available. So how many methods are there to delete the record? There are five methods are available. Now, what is the meaning of delete all? Delete all records from table. I want to delete all the records available in the table. Then I can go for a method called delete all method. Now, I want to delete a record based on particular primary key. I want to delete a record based on particular primary key. Then delete record, delete record based on given pk. I want to delete one record based on the primary key. Then I will go for a method called delete by id. I want to delete the record based on multiple primary keys. Delete records based on given pks. What is the meaning of given pks? More than one id I can give, it will delete all those records. Now here delete record Delete record based on given entity object. I will set the data to entity object. That entity object I can pass to the delete method. It will delete that record. Now, delete iterable entities. What is the meaning of that? Delete records based on given entity objects. Based on the given entity objects. Okay. Now, let me go for here. Book repository available. Repository dot delete. Check how many methods are there? Five methods available or not? Now, so delete method with the entity object, delete all, 
delete all with the iterable sorry here my mistake sir delete all now delete by id to delete a record based on the given primary key delete all by id nothing but what is the meaning of delete all by id based on the collection objects based on the given ids records will be deleted if i go for a delete with the entity one particular record will be deleted based on the entity data i want to delete multiple records based on multiple entities then i can go for delete all i want to delete all the records from the table then i can go for delete all method perfect now let me go for delete by id i am giving 105 repository dot delete by id 105 now check in our table how many records are there select the star from book there are five records available now run as boot application what happened now first it executed select query then it executed delete query go to database select the star from table now record is deleted or not record is deleted for example i am giving id 205 with that id record is available or record is not available not available see that run as boot application exception okay see here what it is telling select query now read this no class entity with id 205 exists boss you asked me to delete a record with id 205 i have executed select query first but with the given id there is no record available i cannot delete it is giving empty result data exception what is the exception name empty result data access exception when we will get this exception when we will get this exception ha huh. with the given id if the record is not available then we will get the exception how can i avoid that exception if you apply your common sense you can tell me the solution optional class huh? am i retrieving that exists by id ha huh. what is the meaning of exists by id it will tell you record is present or not if the record is present then only i will delete that record can i avoid that exception now yes see here i am going for if repo dot exists by id of 205 then only delete my record then only delete my record else what i will tell no record found i will instead of throwing the exception i will say that no record found are you guys getting my point what is the advantage of going with this method it will check the presence of the record if the record is present true if the record is not present false value right click run as boot application now no exception is coming or it is going to else block it is going to else block suppose if i give exists by id 104 delete by id 104 then it will check the record is present or not record is presented if the record is presented then it is going to delete the record run as boot application yes select query first it executed presence of the record then it is checking that record is available and check this 104 record is also deleted now if you have entity object that entity object you can pass for this a delete method you can pass multiple entities for the delete all if i call a delete all truncate the table it is going to delete all the records available in the table you can practice this method if i delete my rows will be deleted are you clear with the methods of crud repository yes total how many methods are available total there are 12 methods available now assume that these 12 methods are common methods for every table these 12 methods are common methods for every table if i am using normal jdbc i need to implement all the 12 methods 
in every DAO, I have thousand tables in the project. Thousand into twelve. Twelve thousand methods I need to write for this. If I want to perform these kind of operations in all the tables, for every table, one DAO will be created. For every table, one DAO will be created. In every DAO, these are 12 methods I have to write. 1000 into 12, 12,000 methods to perform only CRUD operations. Now, do I need to write those 12,000 methods or it is not required? If you are using data JPA, it is not required. So with this, can I say data JPA avoiding boilerplate code in the persistence layer? Yes. Now, can I use the data JPA to develop a web layer? Can I use the data JPA to develop a web layer? Where I can use the data JPA in the project? Data JPA will be used only to develop persistence layer of the project. Right, just read the methods and purpose. All of you read the methods and understand what is the purpose of the method. Completed? Yes. Next. If I go for data JPA, JPA repository, can I use all the methods? Yes. Same methods will be available in the JPA repository also. And the next one, here guys, I have here records. I have records in my database table. Select a star from book. So there are three records are available. Now, I want to retrieve the records based on book price. Are you guys getting my point? I want to get the record whose book price is greater than or equal to 2500. Tell me which method I can use to perform that operation. You understand my requirement? So there are Three records available in the table. Three records available in the table. Now I want to retrieve the records whose book price is greater than or equal to 2500. Suppose you don't know how many records available in the table. You don't know how many records available in the table. So assume that there are some records available in the table. I want to retrieve the records whose book price is greater than or equal to 2500. Check here which method I can use for that. Find all what it will do. I want to retrieve. What is my condition? Requirement. Requirement. 
रिट्रीव बुक्स हुज प्राइस इज ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड दट इज माई कंडीशन थिंक अबाउट दैट अरे यार फाइंड आल वॉट फाइंड आल विल डू it will retrieve all the records from the table i don't want all the records i want the record whose price is greater than or equal to 2500 how can you use find all find all by id do you know which records id which is having price greater than 2500 you don't know there are 1 lakh records available out of 1 lakh records how can you identify the id wrong you want you got my requirement what is my requirement retrieve the books whose price is greater than or equal to 2500 now here we have a method called find by id what is the purpose of this method to retrieve the record based on the given primary key and we have find all by id what is the meaning of that if you give the ids then it will retrieve the record based on the ids and what is this method find all it will retrieve all the records so now for my requirement can i use first method can i use second method can i use third method no no these three methods will not satisfy my requirement if you want to retrieve the record based on the primary key then you can go for find by id if you know multiple primary keys then you can go for find all by id if you want to retrieve all the records then you can go for find all but my requirement is different my requirement is retrieve the books whose price is greater than or equal to 2500 here price is a primary key column or price is a non primary key column price is a primary key column or non primary key column non primary key column in order to achieve this requirement now these methods are not sufficient so can i achieve that requirement by using these methods do you have any other method in the jpa repository card repository check this go to card repository what is this method save what is this method save all what is this method find by id what is this method exist by id what is this method find all what is this method find all by id what is this count what is this delete by id what is this delete what is this delete by all by id what is this delete all what is the last one delete so all the methods are covered here or not so total there are 12 methods available in the crud repository all the methods we have covered is there any method out of these 12 to achieve my requirement no so those 12 methods will not satisfy my requirement here if you have this kind of requirement in the jpa there are predefined methods 12 methods available those 12 methods are not sufficient apart from this in the jpa there is a concept called find by methods there is a concept called find by methods and there is a another concept called custom queries there is a concept called find by methods and another concept is custom queries now for your requirement observe carefully very 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 important here for your requirement first you check is there any predefined method available to execute now if i want to retrieve all the record find all if i want to retrieve the record based on the primary key find by id but my scenario is different i want to retrieve the books whose price is greater than 2500 greater than or equal to 2500 now here predefined methods i can't use when you can't use the predefined method jpa provided two other options for us 
one is called find by methods second one is called custom queries what is the first option find by method second one is custom queries now we need to understand what is a find by method what is find by method and what is custom query custom queries i think already you are writing in the hibernate classes jpql queries are you writing the jpql queries at the rate named query and all same concept here also i will explain once again before that we need to understand find by methods here guys when you go for find by methods based on your the beauty is based on your method name jpa will create a query and will execute the query let us see here simply how i am going to do that implementation go to my repository in my repository i am writing a method public list of book find by find by book price find by book price one minute public find by book price now here i will go for find by book price greater than or equal find by book price greater than or equals like this i am writing one method this method is a concrete method or this method is a abstract method this is a concrete method or abstract method body available or body not available body not available now let me go to my start class let me go for my start class repository dot find by book price greater than or equal to 2500 2500 now i am getting books now let me print those books for book b colon books system dot out dot println of book okay let me run this run as boot application it failed bean creation exception repository repo dot find by book price a suggestion is not coming greater than r equals sorry yeah find by book price guys automatic suggestion will come which is greater find by book price greater than greater than find by book price greater than greater than first let me try with greater than so the thing is based on our method name it has to prepare the query that is the concept book price greater than 2500 are Fine. Right click, run as boot application. Yes, perfect. Now see here, it is executing a query. What it is doing now? Book price greater than. See here, am I writing a method body or I am not writing the method body? 
I'm not writing the method body. So here method and name is important guys. So when you go for find by methods, find by methods, find by methods we are writing. Find by methods are used to perform select operation with our properties. What are the variables available in the entity class? Based on the variables, we can execute our select query. So to retrieve the records, find by methods, find by methods are used to perform select operation, not for insert, update and delete. Only if you want to perform retrieval operation, then you can go for find by methods. Find by methods are used to perform select operations. Now, using using non-primary key columns, using non-primary key columns, we can select uh, records, right? If you want to go for select operation based on the primary key, what is the method available? Find by ID, find all by ID available. Now I want to select the record based on non-primary key. So if you want to retrieve the records based on the non-primary key, then you can go for find by methods. Find by methods are used to perform only select operation. Only select operation. You cannot insert, you cannot update, you cannot delete. Only you can perform select operation. Now, what is the benefit of this? Using non-primary key columns also, we can perform select operation. Method name is, in find by methods, method name is very important. In find by methods, method name is very important. Why method name is very important? Based on the name of the method, it is preparing the query. If you write a abstract method, now what is the method I am writing? Find by book price. So I want to execute a query with the book price column. Here, book price is a variable name in my entity. Right? Find by book price greater than. So whatever the value I am giving, what it will do is select a star from book table where book price where book underscore price greater than given price greater than given price so whenever i write a method like this data jpa preparing a query like this it is executing that query it is giving the result where is the method body where is the method body do i need to write it or jpa will write that jpa will write that internally JPA will write that body in the runtime. Whenever I write a find by method, I no need to implement that method. That method will be implemented by JPA in the runtime. Now, I want to retrieve the records whose price is less than 2000. Can you tell me the method for that? Public, public list of book. Now, find by find by can i write find by price why ah in the method name you need to represent your ntd class variable i want to retrieve the record based on the price then i need to go for find by book price book price is my variable name find by book price less than find by book price less than then i will give double price double price so this query is equal to what what is the purpose of this query select a star from book where book underscore price less than given price less than given price now less than equals also will come less than eqals less than equals what is the meaning of less than equals then it is going to consider as less than equals. Greater than equals. I want to perform like this. You can do that. Now here, based on our method name, JPA will prepare a query. In find by methods, method name is very important because based on method name, based on method name, 
based on a method name jpa will construct the query for execution you no need to write the method with the body you just write a abstract method but for that method give the proper method name if your method name is correct then based on the method name it will prepare the query and it will execute that query that is called find by method now here there are some predefined methods are available if you are not satisfied with this predefined method if your requirement is different you want to retrieve the record based on non primary key column then you can go for a concept called find by method tell me what is the purpose of find by method find by methods are used to perform only select operation using non primary key columns also we can select the record how to select the record by using primary key find by id book price is a non primary key column how to select the record based on the non primary key column two options either find by method or we can go for custom queries are you clear right now here i am writing my find by method right greater than less than something like this we are writing this right similarly i want to retrieve a record based on book name i want to retrieve the record based on the book name book name is a primary key column or book name is a non primary key column book name is a non primary key column then what i need to do public list book find by what is the property book name now variable name we need to write find by book name find by book name i will pass string book name i will pass string book name right what is the meaning of find by book name how this query will be executed select star from book where book underscore name is equal to given name whatever the name you are giving book name right that given name it will supply in the query it will retrieve the record are you guys able to understand what is find by method and when we need to go for find by methods what is find by method and when we need to go for find by methods ha huh. if you want to perform select operation based on non primary key column then we need to go for find by method my find by method is a abstract method or it is a concrete method my find by method is a abstract method based on the method name jpa will create the query and it will execute that query it will give the result now let me call this method now instead of find by price greater than let me go for repository dot find by book name find by book name i'm giving the book name database spring there is a book with a name called spring how many records available with the name spring only one book is available check this now guys see this method i am calling my method having the body or my method does not have a body my method does not have a body right click run as this one start class right click run as boot application now check this am i able to retrieve the record my query is getting executed select a star from table where book name is equal to given value i have given the book name as a spring with that name one record is matched so i am able to get that single record fine yes able to understand what is a find by method and why we need to go for find by method right when we need to go for find by method right now next one find by methods should contain find by methods should represent entity class variables right here i am writing find by book name can i write find by name why you know ha huh. here which column i want to use in the where class that will be represented by my method name in my method name 
entity class variable is very important. When I write find by book name, then only it will prepare a query. Okay, this person is asking find by. What is the meaning of find by? Find by means select query. In the select query, I need to use a where class. Which column I need to keep in the where class that I am giving as a book name. So based on this method name, find by, it represents select star from book. Find by means select star from book. Book name, where book name is equal to given value. So based on your method name, repository is creating a query and it is executing that query. So like this, you can give greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Find by book name is null. Find by book name is not null. So if the column value is null, then I want to get the records. But I want to get the records whose book name is not null, whose book name is null, whose book name contains some value like that we can execute that. So you can perform find by operations if you want to retrieve the records based on non-primary key columns also. So that is the purpose of find by methods. So as of now, in the data JPA, we have seen predefined methods and as well as we have seen find by methods. So when to go for predefined method, when to go for find by method. Yes, if you want basic insert, update, retrieve and if you want to retrieve based on the primary key, if you want to retrieve all the records, then you can go for predefined method. I want to perform search operation based on non-primary key column. Then I need to go for find by method. In find by method, method name is very important. Based on the method name, query will be created. Find by method should represent entity class variables. All right. Next one. There is a another option which is called as custom queries right i don't want i don't want to use predefined methods i don't want to write find by method i will write the query jpa should execute my query i will write the query jpa should execute my query in that scenario we will go for a option called custom queries right so if we want to execute our query, if we want to execute our query, then we can go for custom queries. So if you go for predefined method, query is preparing by JPA. When I call save method, JPA preparing a query. When I go for find all, JPA preparing a query. When I go for find by method, who is preparing the query? Who is preparing the query, guys? JPA is preparing the query when I go for find by method. But here, my requirement is, I don't want JPA to create the query. I want to write my query. JPA should execute my query. Then that is called as custom query. So if we want to execute our query, then we can go for custom queries concept. Custom queries we can write in two ways. Okay, guys. Custom queries, custom queries we can write in two ways. First one is HQL query. Second one is native SQL query. What is the first one? HQL query. Second one is native SQL query. I hope in the hibernate. HQL queries and native SQL queries. First one is HQL queries and the second one is native SQL queries. If we want to execute our query by, if you want to execute our query in JPA repo, in JPA repo, then we, then we can go for custom queries. If we want to execute our query in the JPA repo, then we can go for custom queries. Custom queries we can write in how many ways? Custom queries we can write in two ways. What are the two ways? One is HQL query. Second one is native SQL query. Now, here guys, 
first let me show you how to write a native sql query i'm deleting find by methods got it i gave in the notes already now here i want to go for a custom query now if you go for custom query what is this select star from table name so can i call it as a native sql query yes can i call it as a native sql select star from table when you go for select star from table that query is called as native sql query i want to execute the same query by jpa i want to execute same query by jpa now let me write one method here when you are writing find by methods method names are very important when you are writing custom query you can use any name for the method because earlier when i go for find by method based on the method name madam you are sleeping hello hello chudi chunni right so here we are trying to understand what is find by method and what is custom query so now what is the difference between find by method and custom query what is the difference between find by method and custom query find by methods means find by methods means based on the method name jpa will prepare the query so method names are very important your method name should represent find by column name that is a property name based on that method name query will prepare by jpa right now custom query means i will write my query jpa should execute my query right now here i am writing public list of book public list of book get all books what is that i am writing get all books i am writing import that list package now which query it has to execute my query it has to execute which query it has to execute that is my query i should give that query as a input for the jpa for that i will write one annotation call at the rate query annotation at the rate query annotation value is equal to select star from book are you guys clear completely i am working with the interface there is no implementation i am not writing any body that is the power of the jpa that is the power of the jpa for our methods implementation providing by jpa in the run time now i am writing a method get all books so when i call this method what jpa has to do jpa has to call my query what is my query select star from book in this query i am using table name so this is a hql query or this is a sql query ha huh. i need to tell to jpa saying that i need to tell to jpa saying that native query is equal to true native query is equal to true what is the meaning of native query is equal to true boss hey jpa this is a plain sql query you no need to do anything you just to take my query execute in the database this is a plain sql query i am writing how i am writing a plain sql query by using at the rate query annotation what is the meaning of this when i call this method when i call this method jpa should execute this query this query is a native query this query is a native query are you guys getting my point now go for this call the get all books method call the get all books method what is the return type of get all books method list of books i am storing list of books i am printing run this run as boot application what happened as it is my query is executing or not as it is my query is executing so in the database how many records available there are three records available i am able to retrieve all the three records now tell me how to work with the custom query how to write a custom query at the rate query annotation so method name do i need to follow any standard to write the method name or i can write any name for the method uh, see here i am writing m1 my method name i am writing as m1 now write like this call this run as boot application 
working or not. But when I go for find by method, can I write method name as M1? No. Why? Why? Uh, in the find by method, in the find by method, based on the method name, query should be constructed. If you write the incorrect method, your query will become incorrect. In the custom queries, I am not asking JPA to prepare the query. I am telling to JPA, you execute my query. I am giving you query already. You execute my query. So these custom queries we can execute in two ways. What are those two? One is HQL query. Second one is native SQL query. Right? How to tell that it is a native SQL query? By using native query is equal to true. By using native query is equal to true. Fine. Now here guys, what is the difference between HQL query and native SQL query? HQL means Ibernet query language. SQL means structured query language. Huh? Database independent. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of database independent? Huh. <clears throat> right. See here, let's understand HEQL versus SQL queries. What is the difference between HQL query and SQL query? The first difference, the first difference, HQL queries are DB independent queries. Okay. Whereas SQL queries are DB dependent queries. This is the First difference. HQL queries are database independent queries. Whereas SQL queries are DB dependent queries. Now, second difference. Second difference. HQL query will use HQL query will use entity class name and entity class name and variables in query. In HQL, in HQL query, we will use we will use entity class name and variables in the query. When we go for SQL, in SQL query, we will use table name and column names. Are you getting my point? When you go for HQL, HQL queries are DB independent queries. That means HQL queries will work with any kind of database. That is nothing but database independent. HQL queries are DB independent queries. SQL queries are DB dependent queries. In a HQL query, we will use entity class name and variables. In HQL query, we will use entity class name and variables. In a SQL query, we will use the table name and column names. Now, Third difference, third difference, HQL query, HQL query cannot execute in DB directly. Whatever the HQL query we are writing, that HQL query cannot execute in the database directly because database don't know what is a HQL. Database knows only SQL. HQL query cannot execute in the database directly. Whereas SQL query, SQL query can execute in DB directly. Are you clear? As of now, we have seen three differences. We are trying to understand HQL queries versus SQL queries. So what is HQL query? HQL queries are DB independent queries. SQL queries are DB dependent queries. In a HQL query, we will use entity class name and entity class variables. Whereas in the SQL query, we will use the table name and 
column name. Now, HQL query cannot execute in the database directly. SQL query can execute in the database directly. Now here, guys, every HQL query should be converted to SQL before execution. If you write the HQL query in the project, that HQL query cannot execute in the database. HQL query should be converted to SQL query for that dialect class will be available. Now, I am writing one SQL query. Same requirement. I want to get the books, guys. Public list of book. Public list of book. Now, I will go for get books. I will go for get books method. I want to execute one custom query. This time, I want to use a query directly as from book. That's it. Are you guys clear? So now, both are same. Both are same. This is a SQL query. This is a HQL query. Now, this query will execute in the database directly. Because SQL queries can execute in the database directly. But what about this query from, what is the book here? Book is my entity class name. Book is my entity class name. Sir, what is the advantage if I write HQL query? What is the disadvantage if I write the SQL query? Why? Why we need to go for SQL queries? Why we need to go for HQL queries? Understand? I am writing SQL queries in the project. My SQL queries are following Oracle SQL syntax. Getting my point? I am following Oracle SQL syntax. I am writing my query. Tomorrow, I want to change my project from Oracle database to MySQL database. Then what will happen? Whatever the SQL queries I am writing for the Oracle database, they will work with the MySQL database or they will not work with the MySQL database. Uh, that is the reason we are calling SQL queries are DB dependent. Every database having its own SQL language. So if you go for Oracle, the data type is a number. If you go for MySQL, it is an integer. So that is the difference. Oracle SQL syntaxes are not same as MySQL syntaxes. <coughs> now in my project, I am writing all my queries according to Oracle syntaxes. Okay. Oracle is a licensed database. Tomorrow, client don't have the money to purchase the Oracle license. Client want to switch to MySQL database. It is free of cost. If a client asked us to change from one database to another database, then in my project, 1000 queries are available as the SQL queries. Now, we need to change 1000 queries as per MySQL syntax. After changing 1000 queries, do you think that project will work as expected? Again, we have to test complete project functionality. That is called maintenance problem. If you write the SQL query, if a client is not changing the database, there is no problem. If a client want to change from one database to another database. Now, today, my project is connecting with my Oracle database, guys. Today, I have a project. In my project, I have written 1000 SQL queries. I have written 1000 SQL queries to connect with Oracle. I am following Oracle database syntaxes. Now, my project is connecting with the Oracle database. No problem. Because my queries are working as expected. <laughs> After one year, client business is not running. Client business in the loss. Client not able to purchase the Oracle license to run this database. Now what client told Ashok, I am not able to pay the money for Oracle because my business is not running. But I don't want to stop my business. I want to try one more year. Could you please change the project from Oracle database to MySQL database? MySQL database is free of cost. Now, my project should connect with the MySQL database. 
if i go and change data source properties in the properties file do you think that my application will connect to mysql and will work why why it will not work ha huh. so mysql db syntaxes are not same as oracle syntaxes then what i need to do in my project 1000 sql queries are available i need to check which syntax is not working in the mysql i need to change that query if i just to change the query is it sufficient no why after changing the query what is the behavior of the project is our project working as expected or not we have to test it is our project working as expected or not we have to test it so now to develop that project we have spent 6 months to test that project we spent 3 months of time if i want to change the queries to change the queries one month to test the queries another 3 months so total 4 months of time will be wasted that is called that is called as maintenance problem in the project if you want to change from one database to another database your native sql queries may not work whatever the native sql queries we are writing those native sql queries may not compatible with the all the databases available in the market to overcome this problem we are going to write what to overcome this problem what we are writing we are writing heql query sir what is the benefit of going for the heql query whenever you go for heql query heql queries are db independent queries or db dependent queries db independent or db dependent db independent whenever you are developing a project to connect with the database instead of writing 1000 sql queries i'm going to write 1000 hql queries what i will do now 1000 hql queries these hql queries are related to any database or not related to database not related to database now in the project whenever you add mysql driver class then mysql driver class then what will happen there will be a class called mysql dialect class what is the class guys mysql dialect class will be available what this mysql dialect will do it will take the hql query it will convert into mysql database query it will take our hql query it will convert the hql query into mysql database query now tomorrow i want to work with the oracle database whenever you add oracle driver in the application properties then immediately oracle dialect will come immediately what will come oracle dialect will come what this oracle dialect will will do it will take the hql query it will convert into oracle sql query now tomorrow assume that my project is having hql query i am connecting with the oracle database hql queries will work in the oracle database hql queries will not work in the oracle database will work or will not work no because hql queries are database independent queries whenever you write the hql query that the hql query should be converted to sql query who will do that conversion dialect class will do that conversion for every database one dialect class will be available now i am configuring oracle driver class when i configure oracle driver class oracle dialect class will come into picture it will take my hql query will convert into oracle understandable query suppose tomorrow i don't have money for purchasing the license of the oracle i want to change it to mysql i will configure mysql database url mysql driver class when i configure mysql driver class what will happen mysql dialect class will come into picture that will take my hql that will convert into mysql understandable format now if i write the hql query my project is dependent on the database my project is independent on the database ha my project is independent on the database 
now. So here, if I am using HQL queries like this, tomorrow if I change the database, do I need to change my query? Do I need to test my project? Not required because everything will be taken care by dialect class. Dialect class will convert HQL query into SQL query. Now tell me, what is the difference between HQL and SQL? HQL queries are DB independent queries. SQL queries are DB dependent queries. In a HQL query, we will use entity class name and entity class variable. In a SQL query, we will use a table name and column name. HQL query cannot execute in the DB directly. SQL query can execute in the DB directly. Tell me, which queries are recommended? Wrong. Wrong. Based on the requirement. Understand? Like flexibility. Flexibility wise, HQL queries are better. Flexibility wise, HQL queries are better. So, in future, if you want to change from one database to another database, which queries are better? <coughs> HQL queries are better. But what is the problem with the HQL? Ah, every query should be converted to SQL for execution. One extra step is required. Conversion is required. It will decrease the performance of the application. Are you guys getting my point? Whenever you write the HQL query, can it execute in the database directly? Cannot execute in the database directly? Cannot execute. Dialect class should come. It has to take our HQL. It has to convert to SQL. Then SQL query should execute in the database. If I go for SQL, directly it will execute in the database. For HQL queries, conversion is required. For SQL queries, conversion not required. Performance wise, SQL is better. Maintenance wise, HQL is better. Now tell me, which one is recommended? Ah, that is, it depends on the requirement. We need to act like a matured developer. In the interview, if anybody asks you, HQL versus SQL, which one is better? If you want, tell them that. If you want easy maintenance, if you want to switch from one database to another database, HQL is better. If you want fast performance, SQL is better because HQL query cannot execute in the database. HQL query should be converted to SQL query to convert that dialect class is required. Whereas SQL query can execute in the database directly, conversion not required, performance will be faster with the SQL query. So now in the real time, when any application is a customer facing, if a user is interacting with the application directly, at that time, our performance should be faster. Then we will go for SQL query. In the real time, some batches will be available, nightly batch jobs will be available. Customer will not interact with the application. It will run in the background. For that, performance is not important. Customer facing application, customer not facing application. If your application is using by customer directly, performance is crucial for that. SQL queries you have to write. If your application will execute without customer interaction, nightly batch job will execute. For that, HQL queries are recommended because luxury will be available, easy maintenance will be available. Are you getting my point? Now, here if you see here, fourth step, performance wise, performance wise, SQL queries are better. Performance wise, SQL queries are better. Maintenance wise, maintenance wise, HQL queries are better. Right. SQL query, every HQL query should be converted to SQL using that dialect class. Every HQL query, every HQL query should be converted to, should be converted to SQL query before execution. That conversion will done. That conversion will done by dialect class. Every database having their own dialect class. MySQL dialect available, Oracle dialect available, 
SQL Server dialect available, DB2 dialect available. So there are 30 plus databases available in the market. 30 plus dialect classes are available. Every database will have, every database will have its own dialect class. Every database will have its own dialect class. Now let's go here. I'm calling get all books. So now this method is belongs to which query? Native query, right? Now execute this run as Java boot application. See the query as it is executed or not. Why it executed as it is? Because it is a native query. How it is identified that it is a native query? Native query is equal to true. Now let me call this method get books method. This is also used to retrieve the records only. Now let me call this query. Uh, repo dot get books. I don't want to iterate the data. Just I want to call the method and see what is the change. Now right click run as boot application. Guys, my query executing as it is, our query is converted to SQL. First my native SQL query is executed. Then I am calling my HQL query method. When I call my HQL query, what happened? Is it executing as it is or converting? Uh, it is converted. Let us see here. Started that application. What is that? MySQL 8 uh, dialect. Am I writing that dialect class or it is coming up with our driver? Huh. It will come along with our driver. If you add Oracle driver, Oracle dialect will come. If you add MySQL driver, MySQL driver, MySQL dialect will come. What is the responsibility of dialect class in the JPA? It is used to convert our HQL queries to SQL queries. So what is the difference between HQL queries and SQL queries? HQL queries are database independent queries. SQL queries are database dependent queries. In HQL query, we will use entity class name and variable. In SQL query, we will write the table name and column name. HQL query cannot execute in the database directly. SQL query can execute in the database directly. Here I can say conversion required. For HQL query, conversion is required. Performance wise, which queries are better? SQL query. Why? Why they are better? Directly they will execute in the database. Maintenance wise, HQL queries are better. Why they are recommended maintenance wise? Why they are recommended maintenance wise? Easily we can switch from one database to another database. Right. Every HQL query should be converted to SQL query before execution. That conversion will be done by dialect class. Every database will have its own dialect class. What are the examples? Oracle dialect will be available. MySQL dialect will be available. DB2 dialect will be available. Postgres dialect will be available. SQL server dialect, etc. Now, do I need to add the dialect manually or it will come along with our driver? Now, dialect classes will be available along with the driver. Dialect class will be loaded, will be loaded along with DB driver class. If you are adding MySQL driver, MySQL dialect will be loaded. If you are adding Oracle driver, Oracle dialect will be loaded. Now, to execute custom queries, we will use at the rate query annotation. To represent a custom query, to represent custom query we are using which annotation at the rate query annotation okay guys now here you can write custom query in two ways like this you can write the custom query in two ways like this now what is the difference one is hql query another one is native sql query for the at the rate query annotation if i directly write the query that will be considered as a HQL. 
if it is a native sql i need to write a native query is equal to true when i write a native query is equal to true direct query will be executed when i don't write you native query is equal to true that query should be converted to hql from to hbl to sql query are you guys clear now select star from table name but here what i am writing from entity from entity what is the book here my entity class name what is the meaning of from book from book means from entity from entity means select a star from table name internally this hql query will be converted to select a star from table name who will do that conversion dialect class will do that conversion which dialect class depends on the database driver so you got the clarity how many ways i can execute queries in the data jpa three ways predefined methods find by methods and custom query when to go for custom query come on man when to go for custom query when we want to execute our own query then we can go for custom query custom queries are two types one is hql query another one is native sql query next one is find by method what is the meaning of find by method i want to perform select operation based on the method name i don't want to write the query i will write the method based on the method jpa should prepare the query then i will go for custom query with the find by method when you go for find by method method names are very important but when you go for custom query query syntax is important right then we have predefined methods also what is the meaning of predefined methods what is the meaning of predefined methods ha huh. ready made methods available for some common operations inserting updating deleting retrieving retrieving with the primary key retrieving all the records delete one record with the primary key value like that you can go for those methods so predefined methods mainly works on primary key based columns right save method with the primary key value find by id with the primary key delete by id exist by id like that based on the primary key if you want to perform the operations then you can go for predefined method if you want to perform select operation with the non primary key column go for find by methods or custom query when you go for find by method you need to write the proper method naming convention based on your method name query will be constructed i want to execute my own query or i want to call a stored procedure then we need to go for custom queries only custom queries are hql queries and native sql which one is recommended ha huh. that is it depends on the requirement now let me take a example sql query i am writing select a star from book here book is my table name same performance same operation if i want to do by using hql from book from book here book is a table here book is a class entity class what is the meaning of from book it is equal to select star from book it is equal to select star from book now i want to retrieve a record based on book price okay select star from book underscore price is equal to 2000 that is my sql query ha huh. right right from book where book price right i want to retrieve a record whose book price is equal to 2000 so here what is book now table name what is book underscore price ha huh. same thing i want to write in the hql from book what is the meaning of from book from entity where book price equal to 2000 here book price is a column name here book price is a variable name here it is a column name here it is a variable name are you guys clear next one i want to go for another hql select star select star from book where book price book price greater than or equal to 2000 
right right select a star from book where book price greater than or equal to 2000 and book name is equal to spring right now i have a where condition and and operator also now for this i want to write the hql how to write the hql for this select so, sorry 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 yeah bhai java class dene mein mera jaan mera flow to be frank i will feel devops teaching is very easy i need to teach them what is git what is maven what is a sonar cube what is a jenkins what is a docker what is a kubernetes course completed <laughs> devops course it will be completed in 45 days of time course fees is 16000 16 teaching teaching devops is damn easy when compared with java Huh? Seek name is easy. <laughs> that is only. <laughs> right. Now here, I'm having, daily I'm keeping four hours effort. Morning JRTP two hours, evening Spring Boot two hours. In these four hours, I can take three DevOps classes. One hour class is sufficient for that. 45 days. Katam. Revenue wise, DevOps is better than Java. Right, SQL. So here I'm writing select a star from book where book price greater than or equal to 2000 and book name is equal to spring. Same query I want to write by using HQL. Can you tell me that now? From book where book price greater than or equal to 2000 and book name is equal to spring. Got it? Here, what the difference you observed in the SQL query and HQL query? In the SQL query, we need to use select a, we need to use the table name and the column names. Whereas in the HQL, in the HQL, we are writing entity class and the entity class variables. So in the SQL query, we will write the table name and we will write the column name. Whereas in the HQL query, we will write the entity class and entity class variables. Clear? Now, here guys, when we are going for database, there is a concept called projection and selection. Whenever we are writing the SQL query, we need to understand what is the projection, what is selection. If you are writing a SQL query with the where condition, where book price greater than or equal to 2000. So here I am selecting particular rows based on the condition. This is called selection. This is called selection. Retrieve. How many records I am getting? Two records I am getting. Now whenever you write where condition in the SQL query, that is called selection. Now I am writing select star. When I write the select star, it will retrieve all the columns from the table for the selected records. But now, I don't want all the column. I want only name of the book. I want only name of the book. So instead of star, I'm going to specify column name. I'm going to specify column name. So this query will retrieve the records whose price is greater than 2000, give only name of such books. So if you write the where class in the query, that is called selection. If you specify required columns in the query, that is called projection. Projection nothing but retrieving required columns from the table. Selection nothing but retrieving required rows from the table. Now this query is having both the projection as well as selection. Are you guys clear? Right. Let me execute it. So what happened now? Am I getting all the columns or I am getting only one column? One column. What is the meaning of that? Projection is available plus selection is also available. Now let me write the same query in the SQL. Let me write the same query in the SQL. 
I want to apply projection. I want to apply projection. Select, select only book name from book. That's it. What is there in the query? Selection is there or projection is there? Projection. What is the meaning of projection? Retrieving required columns from the table is called projection. What is the meaning of selection? Retrieving required rows from the table is called selection. Can I apply projection and selection in the single query? Yes, we can do that, right? Yep. Now, this is my SQL. Now, tell me HQL query. Come on, pass. Ha. Here, syntax will change. Syntax will change. When you want to write a projection in the HQL, you should write select book name from. Got it. Whenever you are writing, select a star from. Then you can go for from book. What is the meaning of from book? Select star from table. Now I don't want to retrieve all the columns. I want to go for a projection. So this is important topic here. When your query wants to have a projection, our HQL query also will start with the select. Select book name from book. What is the book name here? Entity class variable. What is the book here? Entity class name. Here what is the book name in the SQL? Column name. What is the book here? Table name. Clear? Yes. Selection and projection. Now, do you understand how to write SQL query? For that, how to write the HQL query? Yes. If you want to retrieve all the columns data in the HQL, you will start with from entity. Then it will retrieve all the columns. I want to retrieve specific columns from the table. Then I need to go for projection. Select book name from book. Got it. And here when we are writing custom queries, not only select operation, we can write a custom query to update and delete. We can write the custom query to update and delete the record also. But if you go for find by method, if you go for find by method, only retrieval. But with the custom query, select update delete but not insert but not insert so here whenever we are writing a custom query direct insert query will not be supported update query delete query will be supported and retrieval operation also will be supported why means that is the jpa rule right so direct insert query will not be supported so here in the jpa if you are writing a custom query to insert the data. Direct insert is not possible. If you have data in the one table, that data you can insert into other table with the custom query, but a direct insert is not possible because there is a chance of getting the problem with the primary keys. That's why they don't allow you to insert directly. You can update, you can delete, you can retrieve with the custom query, but you cannot insert a record with the custom query. What about find by methods? What about find by methods? Only for retrieval. What about custom queries? Select, update, delete also we can do. What about insert? Direct insert not possible. From one table, you can take the data, you can insert into another table. Are you guys clear? Right. So, with this we understood three concepts today. One is, huh. Fraud repository methods. How many methods available? There are 12 methods available. And we understood find by methods. And we understood custom queries. Right. By using find by methods, we can perform only select operation. And by using custom queries, we can perform select operation as well as non-select operation. Custom queries are again divided into two types. HQL, native SQL. SQL queries are database dependent and HQL queries are database independent, right? Performance wise SQL is better. Maintenance wise HQL queries are better. Now, if I go for JPA repository, predefined methods will be available. 
find by methods will be available custom queries also will be available do i need to explain once again in the jpa repository no same concepts will be available in the jpa repository also whatever the methods i am writing whatever the methods i am calling whatever the custom queries i am writing same concept will work in the jpa repository also clear in the jpa repository we need to understand what is the sorting what is the pagination query by example are you guys clear with this one yes fine any questions anyone anybody having any questions anybody not able to understand guys i am keeping my 100 percent efforts i am delivering content how i used to deliver for my normal batches i am not compromising on the content i am giving my best whatever i know i am teaching so it depends upon how you are practicing how you are practicing you are getting the best quality content regarding spring boot and microservices right you, as i told you several times you can check with your friends in the hostels who are doing java course in the other institute you can check with them what they are learning what you are learning you can ask some questions related to spring boot ask them the people who completed spring boot how ioc container will start they will tell ioc will start by spring boot now why we need to think about that but we know how it will start when it will start which class they are using so we are understanding internals also when you understand the internals when you understand the internals confidence levels will increase and go and ask them what is find by method how find by method will work they will not be able to answer 100% i will bet on this you can go and check with them right the only thing is practice practice whatever i have explained in 2 hours it may take 2 days for you to get that clarity got my point whatever i have explained in the 2 hours it may take 2 days time for you to understand everything whatever i am telling if you skip the practice for one days if you skip the practice for one or two days then total system will collapse ha uh, backlog today we discussed the backlog what is backlog pending pending items are going to increase so you need to prioritize you need to prioritize right fine good online people i'm doing online courses can i come for lab for practice farooq you can come to offline class directly <laughs> right good guys thank you with this i'm stopping for today please practice this and we'll continue in the tomorrow session tomorrow we will see how to work with jpa repository methods for online people tomorrow i will conduct a doubts clarification session guys so tomorrow let's connect at 4 o'clock for a viewer doubts clarification online people same zoom link you can join tomorrow at 4 o'clock 4 to 5 i will clarify your doubts 5 o'clock regular class will be there okay fine good